Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our season 5. So in this one, actually why don't we start what we did before. Last episode was kind of crazy. We were all over the place and trying to build quite a few things. Uh, right, so the power wheels was one of the things we, we did. We raised the levees up as well and then we were trying to get some more power into the scrap city. Then we do have a few houses already as well. And then we talked about how our lumber farm is going to be up on this hill now. Okay, so in between episodes, I have done a little bit of thinking. So one thing that I just realized, uh, if we go to the power tab and look at the engine over here, why don't we just unlock it as well, because we definitely do want to build you. And that's a pretty good spot over here. Okay, something I have not realized I just realized was that the engines only take 0.2 logs. Now, the last time I played on Iron Teeth was, well, I guess it was almost like a, like a year ago, wasn't it? So, and at the time it was one log per hour to produce power. And that was actually the days when we only had 200 hamster power per, per engine. Okay, so yeah, 0.2 per hour is way better. Let's give you a slightly high priority as well. I know we don't have the metal, oh, we don't have any metal, so one of you should definitely be on post. Actually, why don't we do high priority here as well, because this wheel is almost done. And then, yes, I know the efficiency isn't going to be as high, but we are going to be quite occupied with a few other things, so the engine might be might be completed pretty quickly. So yes, let's uh, leave you on three times the speed as well. So we also have another... Forester that's gonna move into this zone very very soon because there are quite a quite a lot of trees that we can start cutting down over here and there's actually a few on this hill as well that we forgot to mark okay so there we go now everything should be fine and the rest well it's gonna take quite a bit of time well the drought has arrived 19 days in total okay that is definitely gonna be interesting to say the least did we also oh yeah i think we did want to try and construct a couple of of these water pumps over here okay is there any more red in here no i think we're fine so you guys can carry on with the construction over here and what we have done okay so we are going to build a few batteries as soon as we get the power lines in place and that's where I think they are gonna go as well. Now, how do we get those trees over here? Oh, you still have a pretty good range up here. Okay, I see. Well, I did place a couple extra foresters here because I do want to have this area looking a bit more, a bit more green. It just looks very, very empty right now. So yeah, and there's another one here which I think we can take out because you can run. Oh yeah, you can run pretty far. Okay, but we are going to use this space for a few other things, so yeah, I think that is okay. Uh, next thing, so the builder huts that you probably noticed in here as well. The reason why we're building them here is we are slowly starting to move everything out from this zone in here. Yeah, so as soon as they are built, we can delete them and free up a bit more space for our farms. Now the next thing, we do have to move out. I guess the furthest building we have is the krill. Okay, so that's pretty pretty simple i think we do have a bit of space in now i probably want to place some trees in here actually and well there's a yeah a bit of extra space in here so let's do another one and you are gonna do grilled chestnuts all right there we go now what have you guys built already platforms seem to be going pretty nicely how about the connection over here that is done engine has almost all the resources just need a few more metal blocks okay and i think the next project we should do oh we do have water in here as well and will you look at that that is actually pretty pretty good okay since we do have the range as well i think with the foresters we do want to have one somewhere higher up the hill that can reach the whole mountainside over here so we shall place yeah i guess this corner looks pretty pretty good in here but maybe we can no let's do one here before all these trees are planted okay so you can reach all the way here 
And I think with the two of them, yeah, it seems we are covering most of the area already. And you can go uh, almost. Well, if we really want to, we can place a platform and a ladder here and then fill the rest of this zone as well. But for now, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. In here, I have placed down a few industrial log piles. Okay, and we probably want to connect them up with power somehow as well. Well, not the not the log pile. I mean, uh, I think in this space in here, it looks like it's a perfect area to place a couple of gear workshops. Hmm. Actually, why don't we do the blanks in here? Okay. Oh, this one could have been... Oh, yeah. This one could have been another... Another one. Ooh, okay. Well, we can do one in here like so. And then if we were to cancel some of those trees. And maybe take those ones out as well. Okay, there we go. Forester's gonna move out. And <laughs> we are gonna need a platform like so. Alright, there we go. And another one just like so. And are you matching up so we might be able to connect you through the front of the house. I think so. Yep. Well, we are going to need a platform here. Place you down. So there we go. Now, <laughs> now might be a, a good time to connect you guys up. Okay, that seems to be good. So we'll take the ladder. Now we just need one more over here. Okay... Yes, you're not going to have access right away. Uh, but that's that's alright. So let's grab this road as well. Connect you up and there we go. Yep, this forest is fine here. It will be it will be built very, very soon. Alright, oh, another small warehouse. What shall we place in here? Maybe a few carrots will do. And with this space in here. Now, what might be suitable is if we were to place a couple more couple more medium warehouses okay and what do we need we need those ladders again this is a bit of a bit of a dead space in here do we want to walk through this area and fill up with some more storages all right so small one here another one maybe we don't want to go all the way through yeah i think uh, this will be good enough for what we need you to be Okay, and then we can place some platforms on top and then replicate it one level higher. Except this one here. Okay, so maybe we do want to place two small platforms instead. Okay, I think we can be happy with with the, all of this now. Okay, all of these builder huts are now completed. Which means we can... Yep take uh, these two out maybe the third one as well so that will leave us with a few spare beavers I think it's probably also a good time to start placing a, another falling post perhaps yeah it might be well right now <laughs> we do have a bit of space in here that we could use but I think that's the area where we do want the power to go through. Okay, so let's do one over here. You're not gonna reach all the way there. Let's place a ladder here. So I think what's gonna happen later is we will want to pass this power through to the other side. Yeah, especially if we're gonna have some wheels up on this hill there and maybe a couple below as well. So a few buildings seem to be complaining already. That was pretty quick. This one's done already and no, you're not stuck. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, what do we want to store in here? Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> well, we don't have bread just yet. But one of you could hold some bread. Now, this one's a smaller one. Okay, anything. Uh, we don't have the packaged foods yet. Sunflower seeds seems to be a good option. Yeah, let's do that for the smaller ones. Here's another one. And I think the last one is a medium Okay, so you were holding bread. What can we hold here? Maple pastries. Alright, lovely. Now let's speed it up a little little bit more. 
Someone is injured, something is not connected. Well, I guess we can take you out because you're not really useful anymore. Oh yeah, these are not connected yet. That we understand. Oh, I see what we have forgotten. We forgot to start grabbing some more scrap metal. Because the last two zones were already already done. Uh, right, right, right. So we do have a few bits in here. Let's hide the water real quick. You hold 30, you hold 60. There's another 30 in there. Um, yep. So that's what we are going to do. We shall place an area for the gathering flag to go. Now what we shall also do... You are... Uh, you're on the floor. Okay, let's place you this way then. And we do need a road as well. And you need to go nowhere, I think. Actually, never mind. It would be lovely if you can climb up there. And also down. Okay. There we go. In the future, as soon as these are completed, yes, they are going to be... We can just remove all that random infrastructure that we do have in place right now. Uh, <laughs> right, what is next? Water numbers are still going up, so that's good. Maybe it's going up a little too fast. And it appears that our engine is almost complete as well. I think after this night, if we manage to make at least five tomorrow, that means we're going to have power. We've got this Bay Beavis right now. And then after that, we shall turn you on. Okay. Now, when it comes to scrap itself, there is a little bit more in here as well. Oh yeah, we can definitely get a little bit more in here but i think it appears we might uh never mind maybe we're not connected let's have a look oh yeah this runs all the way there and let's just make sure that you can't access uh scrap city nope it seems to be all good so yeah this metal isn't gonna sustain us for too long so what we do have to work towards is getting that mine built now, that's a lot of resources. Yeah. So we do need all of this online. And we might even have to... Not might, we definitely have to... Bring those power lines a little closer over here. Oh wow, that's going to be a very long power line. Yeah, I think we might even have to go over those roads. Or maybe we can delete those ones here. And then climb up from this side instead. Oh, that's where our bump is. Yep, we'll uh, figure it out. Now with the wood workshop, we do already have pines in place. And I think the workshop itself... it hmm, This seems like a pretty good spot for, for that one over here. And then delivery-wise... Oh yeah, I did say that we don't want to... We want this to be the only way to access Scrap City. So to take all of the treated blanks from here to run back up and over feels a little bit silly. So what we could also do in here is delete the roads and disconnect you completely once everything is built. Now we can also keep the ladders. Yep. And then that way we have a bit of a shortcut into into this zone here all right i think that might be a pretty good idea actually so that way we still keep the road hierarchy the way we want it to yep let's do that someone has nothing to do what do you mean no goods in stock nothing doing range you can climb up oh oh i see these are lower out oh, here okay well fine uh stairs over there and what we Hmm, this isn't very useful, is it? Nope. And we shall do a platform right in here. Okay, this one as well. At least you can now start scavenging in this zone. Or oh, those ruins over there. That's good. Uh, someone else seems to be complaining. Oh, that is you. Alright, and you are probably complaining about the same thing. You don't have the access, so... High priority for these sections. Okay, do we already have the metal? 
Oh no, okay. Well, we just started producing the scrap metal, so... Of course we don't have it just yet. Uh, right, right, right. So some has come in. That should be fine. You are still complaining that it is understandable. What other warnings do we have? These buildings are not connected. You lack materials. But all of that should be fixed pretty soon. So the next thing. There's a lot of trees in here. Oh yeah, it's more of a buffer zone. That's actually a ton of maples that we have placed down already. And... I would like to green up some of these areas here as well. So that way we can perhaps increase or further increase our pine farm. Okay, uh, another thing to get the pine resin. Yes, we are going to need the tapper shack as well. Uh, fortunately, you don't take any metal. But you are a pretty big building. Do you know what? Never mind. Let's place you here instead. Just gonna be a little bit quicker, I suppose. Alright, there we go. And you are fixed now. We have the range to all of those ruins now, so that's good. Metal... Oh, we might have the engine already. Ah, no we don't. Still missing three. Well, we will have it tomorrow. That should be fine. Yeah, we got 19 scrap metal in the stories right now, so that's good. Uh, this forester is also completed, which means... Oh, you couldn't reach those ones in there. Well, that's fine. We can unmark all of the trees. Okay, so when the time is ready, they will expand there naturally. With the exception of these guys here. I don't want to unmark you. Take this tree out and we can do a few more... Yeah, a few more batteries. Okay, so let's just um, plan you in so we won't forget about you. There we go. Pause it. And what we could do in the future, to make it a little bit easier, we can move the ladder over by one, connect them up with power, and then bring it down the same way as well. Okay. Yep, that's looking good. So, whilst we wait for the metal, uh, yep, we don't want to move you over yet. Uh, you, I think you're built already. Okay, so that can be paused. We'll let you empty all the resources first. And then, yeah, let's just remove it. This forester can be paused as well because we've already planted all the chestnut trees. Right, right, right. Now, that's a good spot to place some more farms in the future. Uh, when it comes to science, you'll be pretty easy to move over as well. Okay, as long as we do find a bit of space though. Plenty over here, same on this side, but I do want to reserve this for construction. Okay, let's take a look. So, alright, this side we are going to block you in with a levy. Okay. And, okay, just one more metal. Come on, guys. One of you is going to... No. Did you not have any in the storage as well? No. Okay. Well, tomorrow. I'm sure it will be done tomorrow. And there we go. So the engine is finally operational. This means... How much power are we producing right now? 650. Alright, a couple of those wheels can be paused straight away. Uh, actually, never mind. We're going to keep you online because we do have this Bebevis. And what we shall do instead... Let's have a look. Okay, so you need to be unpaused first. Yep, so that way the power is going to pass through. Okay, so that is good. And... <laughs> oh, right, they are already constructing because they have nothing else to do right now. Well, fair enough. And we do have another water dump online as well. And that's, uh, yeah, starting to look pretty, pretty nice over here. Pines should be your main focus. So the resin is now coming in as well. Oh, you don't have any storage here. Well, that's okay for now. Well, uh, I guess it's another thing in our list that we are going to have to fix in the future. Right, so the next thing we do want to start doing. Uh, I think we said that power is something we want to bring over. Uh, right, blanks not very good. Because we are using them to produce gears right now. We don't have a lot of them. Yeah, we just really need 
to bring power into this zone. Well, we could run it through those river systems. Okay, up and over. And maybe... Yeah, perhaps we could connect you up from somewhere here. Alright, let's give this a try. So we, we are going to do it a little backwards this time. Access from here might be a little problematic, but I guess we, we shall find out. Okay, so we do have half the link already land in now with the other half i guess we are gonna have to bring you from here right now and in the process also waste a few few blanks let's uh try and make it a little cheaper and the way we can do it is if we rearrange some of those roads okay so this can go that's gonna go in a in a little while now where's the power coming from oh i see Actually, what might be better is if we figure out the location for our wood workshops as well. So, <laughs> since the pine resin is produced over here, yes, blanks are going to take a bit of a detour to be delivered. I think in the long run, this is most likely going to be a bit of a lake in here. Okay, and since we already have this road in place... We could continue this all the way through. Okay, there we go. Do we want to disconnect you? Oh, I see. Okay, so the access, if we move over here, let's imagine that we can climb down from this side. Yeah, connecting them up might be tricky. Might have to move the dapper shacks actually over here instead. On the opposite side, perhaps. And this is going to take a few platforms as well, but I think it might be might be fine, though. So this tree is going to go. We're not going to plant a plant another one there. We can unhighlight you just like so. Okay. Now, the next thing we do want to do in here is let's, let's place the storages. Right, which one was able to hold... Oh, uh, let's double check. So treated blanks oh yeah that's gonna go there this one's gonna change for the ladder instead okay there we go and now we can add a tiny one in that corner over there okay we still cannot place the treated blank little factories but what we might do okay so let's do these platforms first I'm thinking we might want to do, yeah, extend this further. Because the maples, if we lose a few, that's fine. So let's take a look now. You can go on top, that's fine. Uh, Bower's going to go through here right now. In the future, if it goes away, that's still okay. We can do another one next to you. Okay, this one's going to be paused. Don't think we have the gears just yet. Okay, and... Oh, blanks are very low as well. Oh, you guys... I don't think we need you operational right now. We don't have the power... Power just yet. Now... To build all this up in here... Yeah, we could do stairs over here. And hopefully... They can run all the way there. If not... Uh, in preparation... Of that... We shall unmark these trees... So yeah, if it's a bit problematic, we'll remove the trees, put a road in place, and then we should be able to build everything in here. Well, almost. This one seems to be out of range as well. Oh, never mind. We just don't have the gears. Um, <laughs> How many are we producing here? Oh, power might be the issue, actually. We take this tree out. We could do a wheel right behind you. And then another one... Oh dear, okay, so... Right, one could go here. And another one right behind it. Yep, it's... Um, I don't want to leave it this way for too long. But I think it's just going to save us right now. Because we got the beavers, we've got the logs. We just need to be producing a lot more stuff all right there we go so one wheel goes there second one is now complete as well which means we can produce a few extra blanks now 
Right, there we go. And the third one's not too far off, so we can unpause you as well. Okay, cool. So blank production is sorted. Uh, we're not going to rip you out just yet until we have a healthy stockpile. And then I guess in the future, yeah, we're going to have to expand you a little bit. Those four are definitely not going to be enough. But I'm sure we'll find or figure out a better way how to do this. Okay, there we go. Another three are operational right away. This area is coming together pretty nicely as well. Now you want to hold... Let's have a look. Blanks over here. Obtain. Okay. Slightly high priority. And the way we are going to connect you up, I believe this is the way we wanted to do it. It seems we are still able to reach you, so that's good. And that also means this road is no longer... Well, required. Okay, we'll take you out as well. Let's uh, change this up just a little bit. Or perhaps there is a better location for you. No, let's, uh, let's place you here for now. Okay, unfortunately, we do have to jump over this road. And it might be cheaper, actually. Yeah, because gears are a little difficult to obtain. So we might as well... Uh, do it this way for now. Okay, bring this, I suppose, all the way over here is okay. <laughs> for now, okay, that's what we are gonna do. And somewhere here, we actually have to go a little bit higher again. Yep, another, another layer. Will you be able to build it all? I think we will be fine. Alright, there we go. That's what we need over here. And these are now done. Okay. So there we go. We've got the connections in place. All we need now is the access to build everything. Okay. Another set of stairs. We'll take the trees out. Connect the roads. And let's make sure they are the right ones. Okay. There we go. And now we can run all the way here. We'll have a look in a second if that is enough. Okay. This one might be easier if we take that connection out and all right i will try and complete this whole power network and as soon as it's done we'll be right back okay so the power network is now completed and uh, our production zone is looking pretty good as well i have just realized i made a bit of a mistake i don't think the plan was to do lumber mills in here but actually the gear workshops instead uh, it's a little bit embarrassing, but oh well, we'll uh, get them done pretty quickly. What do you require? Okay, 25 blanks. We have quite a few in storage. Okay, so that's fine. So yeah, the power wires do run all the way around, all the way through. I did have to remove a couple of power wheels here as well, because I do want to make more space for a few more engines. So right now, we barely got the second one done just a few seconds ago. But this means we got a 1050 power coming in, thanks to also those power wheels that we do have connected. And uh, yeah, so everything's going pretty well. We are running three smelters in total. Well, right now we've kind of run out of space, so yeah, perhaps we can in the next episode complete the, yeah, the bridge over here. And then um, before we close the episode, so in the next episode, we definitely can do the wood workshops as well. Hopefully even maybe build the mine. I mean, gears, yep, they are the problem. But we've just completed a couple of them. Oh, you are the wrong way. Third time is the charm, is what they say. But here we go. So that one's going to be done. It's going to be fixed now. And then, yeah, that's... Uh, definitely gonna improve our production of the gears what we also tried to complete in here is the power connectivity to those wheels okay there is still a small section that we haven't connected up but that's pretty easy so that's gonna be done very quickly however it's not very usable right now because we are in the drought and all we have to do then once the bridge is completed we can just bring the power through this way as well and you know what since we do have quite a bit of metal we will also allow them to start building a few gravity batteries over here okay yeah so that's pretty pretty good progress for this episode we're not gonna 
get the batteries done just yet because we are going to have to wait for the for the gears to pick up a little bit but in the next one I think our goal will be to try and build the underground mine now that's going to be a tough one because first of all we do need 4,000 science points well I guess that's the easiest of, of them all logs we do have three the planks we have none so we probably should start producing them first and gears 450 yeah that's gonna be a lot so we might have to see how we can save up or perhaps we just try and build it slowly and focus on some other projects in the meanwhile but okay so that should be enough for this episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one